Hey! Well, good morning. Welcome to Girls Talk with Devin Will. It is the football edition. See the football back there? Football edition. Actually, that's a souvenir football that my son got from, uh, he got out of a Buccaneer game. It's actually a Buccaneer souvenir football. Um, with Derek Brooks. Signature. With Derek Brooks in your trunk. I love that. Um, last year, we did a, a, a program where Debbie explained how not to be a football widow. It is that time of year. Football time. It's football time. Football time. Um, and ladies, you too can be excited about football just like your husband yeah. or your significant other. It's one of those things that, that a lot of men look forward, look forward to and a lot of women dread. Um, and there's really no reason for it. There really, there really no. isn't any reason for it. So this year, my wife asked me if I would, um, I, I would sort of tell you guys about, you know, our experience in our family about um, about football and football season and how and how that works. Well, and I and I broke it broke it down in basically four four areas. My wife had motivation first to be interested. Um, because first of all, she was married to me. Obviously, I was a football fan, and then we had a boy, who became a football fan, and eventually started to actually play organized football um, at high school at a really top-notch program in the state. So there was there was some incentive for me to to learn and like football. Yeah, I mean, and I wasn't really one of those people that I don't like it. Like, yeah, I, don't like I wasn't about. that way anyway from the beginning. Way. So I guess I kind of had a a better perspective on it because you know I had brothers and friends and stuff that were into football so I knew a little and plus I was in the band and this is stuff in high and this is Florida and this it's is Florida. about football it's about football football season is the football. most fun time of the year that's all there is to it not soccer not football football college and pro and especially in Florida the uh, pig skin it's a, it's it's a, it's about the pigskin. It's about yes. the football, and so it's a little different um, than other places. But but Debbie had had motivation to be interested, and she learned er, probably early learned the basics. Yes, you know I, I always find it interesting when women say I don't understand it. First of all, you just don't care to. It's a game that, quite frankly, is not that complicated. It's, it's not. just. The general gist of most games, any game really, is not that complicated. Most games, no matter what it is, except for golf, score more points than your opponent. That's the primary goal. That's it. We got more points than them, we win. Yay. Can you win by one? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then you learn the basics of how they get the scores. See, and Debbie learned all these. I think you learned all these early because I, you, I knew that because you because you were in band. Yes, and you paid attention. Um, and you know when your team has the ball and what they do on the field, and because it when even if you're not playing and you're in the band, you got to know when to play, when to cheer. You know, you don't cheer when the other team got the ball. <laughs> so don't cheer and go, yay! They caught, they caught it, yay! No, they caught it, and then you lose. No, no. So you, so a lot of that stuff you learn is basic by by osmosis, and Debbie learned a whole bunch of that early. So learning the basics is frankly not that difficult um, because it's a fairly simple game, and Debbie learned the basics early, and that helped. And 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 now, and when she got in, you know, involved with me, and she got involved with our son, there are more advanced things that you have to learn. But I think Debbie learned them in a, in a way that. I think anybody can, first of all, just pay attention. If you're already interested, pay attention. I don't remember Debbie asking a lot of questions about stuff. Hey, Don. I don't, I don't, remember, I don't, I don't, I don't remember Debbie asking a lot of questions about stuff. Um, and I think that that's where a lot of people make, I frankly, make a bunch of mistakes. Because your husband, no matter how big a fan he is, is probably not an expert. He just likes it. Mm -hmm. And he's probably not an expert in explaining anything. <laughs> there you go. He's probably not an expert in explaining anything. And you and you, trust me, you're simply going to annoy them if you're sitting there doing the whole game and it's their team, they, they really want to be into it and you're like, well, what did they just do? And what is that? And what's this? And, it, and then they, they're going to tell you, okay. Never mind. 
Never mind. Don't you don't have to watch it with me. Well, and and you see, and that's something, and 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 we're fortunate here in this house because that's something that we not we've not put up with. Um, and there are a lot of football co- and and over I don't know twenty plus years, there's a lot of football conversations that happen in my house. So if you pay attention, if you are first interested, because that's really the deal. You know, I got a um, I got a text from my former student Nikki, who lives in Arkansas. Um, because the guy she's dating now is, is a football fan. And she's trying to get in. She's trying to learn about it. The idea is, this first of all, it's not a college class. You first of all have to be interested in learning. That's why I, I put that first. You, what's your motivation? You got to be interested in learning, and you can learn the basics. And your husband probably doesn't know a lot of if he unless they played, they probably don't know a lot of the specifics and why and. And you and doing and, the business. and you You're don't doing the exactly to give them the business. You don't have to. And, and the thing is, in this game, you don't have to understand all the advanced and particulars. You don't to enjoy it. It's like it's like going to the ballet, in a sense. I don't have to understand all the things in the ballet. And 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 is that a plie? Is it, what is that? Is that first position or fourth? I don't have to know. Just know I have who to enjoy it. The ball and which and, way they're going on the field, and basically that. <laughs> and do a lot. Do a, what a lot of people do. If people are dressed like you and they cheer, you cheer, you too. cheer too. Then you go. Something good must have happened. And but if you pay attention, it's not that hard. If you watch it enough, you'll get the the gist of it. And if you're going to a high school game that your son is playing in or something like that, you can really pay attention then. You can really be in focus with it. Or, or, or what's the Pop Warner, you know, that Pop kind Warner. of game. When, if you're starting him out very young, or JV or whatever, like I don't think junior high has football here. Um, uh, they, do in, they do in Pasco County. They have... Okay. They have middle school football there. They used to have junior high football here, but now they don't. Um, but they can start out in, in the Pop Warner. And, and that, if you got your son in that, then you can just easily learn the little plays. And, and I think you have things. to be and they get to be careful because here's, here's what happens. You just watch your kid. You you are laser focused on what he's on doing. your kid. And and you really and you don't really understand what's going on around them. So when your husband or your son says we didn't get good old line play today. And you're like, I don't know what that is. That's the stuff. But it's the stuff you can learn. It's the stuff you can learn. It really is the stuff that you can learn. I don't think you're I think I am. I think that that's just, if you press, hang on, hang on a second. We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> if you open that up. Okay. There you go. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but if you just, and, and you know what, I see, you know, I, I saw a lot of the very same thing when I was doing marching band. Um, it seems like witchcraft <laughs> sometimes because you see this, you go to practice and you see all this stuff. And then on Friday, it's this very coordinated thing musically and visually. And you're like. How'd y'all do that? Magic. No, it wasn't magic. It was screaming and yelling normally. But um, and most and most parents, especially our freshman parents, watch their kid. That's why you don't get freshman parents to do the video for the show because they follow their kid around the whole time. <laughs> you don't see there could be fireworks going off everywhere else, and they're just like, "Oh, that's your kid standing there." So the idea is, if you're going to start your kid off early, try to learn as much, and it helps them too, much about what's going on in the process as possible. Sometimes you can ask other parents. You know, parents who... who other mothers that are there. That it, it, get your mother partner so you can learn together. Yeah. That 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 helps, you know, because if, if her son's been in there for two, two, two years, years and you're just starting out, then she can help you learn yourself, to know what's going buddy. on. Get a football buddy. Yeah, and I think that that's how, that's how you learn the more advanced stuff. Like when I say O-line... My wife knows exactly what that is because we had a kid who played O line. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's offensive line, and that's that's one know of the position. That's one of five positions. 
you can be a center, a right guard, left guard, right tackle, left tackle. That's the old. That's the old line. And my wife is smart enough to know that if you don't have good old line play, your team is going to suck. That's how advanced she is. Yes. She knows that if if, if the O line sucks, Buccaneers. nothing is happening. And we watched Buccaneers. we watched our Bucks yesterday not have good old line play at all. We, we watched our Seminoles and, last week not have good old line play, and you know, and it helps to have a good quarterback. And it helps, but you know what? A good quarterback I can't do so anything. for Jameis because he just ain't good well, right now. Well, you know what? But when you're when you're running for your life and you're trying to make stuff happen because your old line doesn't protect you, then... And that's why quarterbacks get to blame all the time. My wife understands that the quarterbacks mm-hmm. don't get... They they don't get... They, they, they get all the credit, and they also get all the blame, and neither one of those is correct. He needs protection. Because if you don't have protection, you can't think clearly. So thus he makes... That's why he just makes those drastic moves. See? Because he, the people are coming for him. And his whole line ain't protecting I him. I told you. I'm sorry. I told you. I told you this is how it works. So it's frustrating sometimes, but this these are these are all things these are all things you can learn. None of this is too complicated for you. Um, if your motivation is correct and you're open to learning. And I find that some that 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 some women are just not open to learning. They don't want to want to know it, and it's okay if you want to, to be a widow uh, during the football season and be a martyr and just <laughs> go and you know hang out with your girlfriends at the mall or do something like that on Sunday afternoons or do whatever you want to do. That's fine, but it's so much better to to learn it and be able to experience the football season along with them. It's fun, and it doesn't and it and it is and, and I know if it's like anything that you don't like. It seems to last forever, mm-hmm. but it, of all the major sports, it's the shortest season. It goes by too fast. We are so excited this month in August when football season is coming, and then yesterday was the first uh, professional games and stuff like that, and then hmm, and didn't really work out all that well for my bucks. But even the Steelers, guys, the Steelers weren't good. The Steelers got hammered. So. By the Patriots. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but in any case, and the Seminoles four, and, and, our, and our Seminoles, we won, but it, it, it's certainly didn't it feel. It was shaky. It certainly didn't feel like a win. It feel like did, oh, we didn't lose. Miami did Miami. Miami is zero and two. Oh, and two. Yeah, Miami lost. Uh, US and USF got blown out. Uh, USF is not good. So it, it can be an emotional Gators. thing. The Gators won, but they played. Um, they played uh, University of Tennessee. Somebody. They played at a small school too. They won big, um, but um, but but again, this is all stuff that you can. And and again, if you're looking for stuff to do together, you're going. And we've talked about this over the past year. You can find stuff, new interests to do together. Of course, that's good. And guys, you can find stuff that your wife likes to do and do that together. And, and the same things apply. You have to have motivation and an interest. Patience and interest. And it may not be something that you thought about doing. Antiquing. I'm glad my wife doesn't do that. Doesn't like that. But I go. We do, and we learn. I used to be into garage sailing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Let's. I know. Let's get up at old dark thirty and go to Bellevue's houses and buy their garbage. Not so much now. I don't do that. Let's buy the crap they're throwing out uh, uh, for 25 cents. <laughs> so later on, we can put it in our own yard sale and and somebody can buy it from us for 15. Uh, that whole process, I think that's a white people thing. Anyway, so what? Sorry. I think white folks, y'all, y'all, I love y'all, but y'all oh, love that stuff. On the lawn. Just talk. Just every, every other week, just put all your crap out in your front yard with a little orange stickers on it. Go for yourself, but um, I think that's you know I, I think that it, it, it's it, and I think it's one of those things that you can learn and you can experience together because if you get over I don't want to, you'll find it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It really is a lot of fun. Football season. Now we're not get it, girls. We're not basketball fans in this house, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't care. We're not really baseball fans. I think that we're Rays fans. And my son played basketball too. He Play basketball. played basketball at Sefner. But in, 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 in I just, middle school. Mm, 
We're not really basketball fans. Yeah, and, and you know why we're not basketball fans? Because this is the South, and it's, and it's football. football. I'm going to tell you, it's about football. Football. See that, see that ball up there? Football. That's what it's about. Um, so if we lived in Indiana, maybe basketball. If we lived in California or something like that, it might be some, it might be something else. Um, but you can learn, and then you can have that experience together, and you can have all those conversations together. Had it turned out differently in 2014 in that January, we still to be talking about how fun that night was <laughs> when Florida State won the national championship against Auburn. Still be talking about. It. Cardiac. But then I had cardiac arrest the next day, and that sort of that sort of stole all the thunder from the the championship. That was kind of I was kind of a Debbie Downer. He spent the whole week in a coma, so I didn't get to celebrate it. I didn't get to talk trash on the internet. I didn't get to do anything. It was kind of a but it was kind of a bummer. By the time I got better and ready to talk about it, everybody had sort of forgotten about it. It was old. It was literally old news. It was, old, it was old news, so I didn't get to go to work the next day and wear all my FSU stuff and strut around. I didn't. But um, I'll tell you what, it was fun. And I remember even before that, this is this is probably BA, um, we were in the apartment in Brandon, and who did, we played somebody. It was in Nebraska? Yes. Won a national championship in Nebraska. We actually won that game twice. Um, and we're screaming and yelling and we're having a great time together. Doing something that, yes, initially that I I probably like more, um, but Debbie had taken an interest. She taken an, uh, took an interest in me, so she taken an interest in the stuff that I'm interested in, and that works both ways. If you're interested in her, then take an interest in the stuff that he's interested in. Football for I mean today we're talking about football, and football is just sort of a a, a vehicle for that mindset. If, they're, if, if your spouse is interested in something and you're interested in them, then take an interest in that too. It may not be your favorite thing. It may not be. So? What? Is she my favorite thing? <laughs> she's my birthday present every day. Yes, yeah, so she's my favorite thing. So what, if she's interested in it, then I'm interested in it too. And celebrate his birthday. He had oh, a birthday on Friday. I had. My birthday was on Happy Friday. Birthday, I crossed the 59. Really. I crossed the 59 line. And thank you all for who um, who sent birthday greetings to Facebook. I appreciate that. I do. Thank you. You know, I didn't used to celebrate birthdays all that much, all that much, but I do now. <laughs> like, glad to have a birthday. Because the alternative is not having a birthday. So I, I know I, I again thank. Not you. on this earth. Well, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Your birthday is here, come to an end. But no, I appreciate I appreciate all the birthday wishes. Thanks so much. It was. It, I mean, they're they're they're, they're appreciated. So. And so we are um, crossing the 59 line, headed headed into the 60, you know, the um, the 60 zone, in about 360 plus days, something like that. But we'll cross that line when we come to it. So there you go. And um, again, thank you so much. But you know what? If you're interested in your spouse, then you'll be interested in the things that they're interested in, whatever that is. whatever that is, because that's part of their makeup. That's part of who they are. That's part of what gets them excited about stuff. Yes. And one example of that is what I got him for his birthday also. You got Alexa for your I got birthday. an Alexa for my birthday. It's kind of creepy. It, it, it is as creepy as you think it is. <laughs> it is. It's every bit as creepy as you think it is. Every bit as creepy. Um, but, you know. But that was what he wanted. And, and quite frankly, me and my son... Uh, didn't want her in the house because because uh, she's kind of weird. Because she's kind of weird, but um, I'm I, I. But I, hell, Facebook's already already reading your mind. So. Yes, that's true. So I, I broke down. Think and about I, I outdoor. Gave it to him for his birthday. Think about outdoor furniture today. Don't say it. Don't write it down. Just think about it, and see if you don't get ads on your Facebook page for outdoor furniture. <laughs> Facebook could be in your mind. Um, so if that's all, if, that, if that's the case, then I can always unplug Alexa if I, you know, if, if it gets too weird. I can always unplug it because uh, it's not. But she's listening. And they swear she's not. I don't believe it for a minute. I don't believe it for a minute. 
She heard me say something the other day, and she commented on it. Well, you insulted her. You called her annoying. <laughs> she went, Alexa is annoying. And Alexa went, huh? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just doing my best. Try to, Alexa tried to apologize. <laughs> Alexa tried to apologize, which is hysterical. But, you know, we, you know, things that people are interested in. Now, the fact that we're doing this, I've been doing podcasts since March of 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, I have done over 3,000 podcasts on Blog Talk Radio. Over 3,000! And even with the time that I was out in, 14, in, in 2014, I, I figured it out. I have done some sort of broadcasting on the internet every other day since then. At least every other day. It's crazy. So I was interested, obviously, and... I didn't show much interest in the big back in 2008. No, you I was any, doing other things. You didn't show any interest in 2008. No, I was doing other things, running a branch, <laughs> and um, so it came. Uh, it came to me, you know. The when was we've been doing this now for over a year? Over a year. Um, and actually, I had been thinking about it a couple of years before that. In January, so, in January on MLK and on, on MLK's birthday, it'll be two years. That um, you know, we should do something together. You know, I always thought that we should do a show together, and I kept saying, and he's saying, you don't have enough time. You don't have enough time. You 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 work too much. Because what I know is that it, the better does take time. Yes, and he was right. I didn't have the time. And so when I decided to make this big change, um, and my schedule worked out to where I have Monday mornings. And this is the time that we use. So that's what brings us to you this morning. Philip, what's up, Bubba? Uh, your Gators are winning. My Seminoles, and uh, we won. We didn't lose. We won, but... We didn't lose. It was tough. It was like... Climbing up them rocks like uh, Mufasa <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we and we went to on Friday when we went to see the Lion King. Yes, um, we saw the Lion King. If you saw, and Philip, if you're if you're out there, if you saw just this Lion King, and that's the only one that you saw, and you thought it was great, you're right, it was. It, it was awesome. Visually stunning, beautiful. It's the Lion King. Now, if you've seen the other one. A number First of times, and this and this one. This one is like, oh, it was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the cinematography is that what I'm trying to say? Was very good. Oh, just, the oh, awesome. oh the CG uh, the computer generated graphics, is CG is fabulous. Uh, it's just fabulous. You just you can't. I mean, it's the best I've ever seen. Um, but it wasn't as funny. It wasn't as funny because as, of the facial as expressions. As the, the cartoon uh, version of yeah, it. Yeah, the directly animated, uh, the animated version is, is is a lot funnier. Um, it just is. So. But I would recommend it. If you haven't seen it, if I you haven't seen either it. of them, if you haven't seen the old one or the new one, but I, go ahead and see the new one. It's fine. I would recommend you watch the cartoon. About the, eight the, times. <laughs> Do. Well, you know what, Philip... Because Philip does reviews. Philip, my friend, does reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly on music, but um, he worked for the Tampa Tribune for a long time. But you know what? See the, you know what? See the new one, Philip. I, and, and like I was saying, I think that if this is the only one you see and you grow up with this one, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah. But if you see the other and then you compare them, then I think that you will probably like the other one better. Yeah, it's funnier. Um there, there's some scenes, and it's very, and it's basically shot for shot. They don't really try to change the story, but they leave some stuff out. They leave some of the jokes out, uh, and the facial expressions are not on the these because it's, it's supposed, you know, they look real, and then real lions can't make facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, can't make yeah, exactly. So it's um, so. yeah, and it's pretty, and 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 the um, the the big fight scene at the end is pretty intense. So every bit is intense, uh, but you know it was all right. It costs too much damn money to go to movies nowadays. By, by the way, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I need to. I need to get that. We need to get that AARP card. Get some discount. Yeah, now that you're approaching. Yeah, next time we talk to you, it'll be next time we talk about birthdays. I'll be a big six zero. Six zero. Happy to be six zero. But um, again. 
football season does not have to be something that you dread, ladies. It doesn't have to be something that you don't look forward to. You can be excited about it. Just as much change as your, your mindset. That's the deal. Um, just change your mindset about it. That's all. And uh, again, if he's interested or your kids are interested, that's enough motivation for you to be interested in too. It really is. Now, I know some people go, well, that, you know, my kids are interested, but that's sort of my husband's thing to do. Okay, that works. But your family. kid deserves your attention on on sure. his interests as well. Sure, you should support your kid, you know, in in his endeavors when, as well. When my kid was playing football, that we noticed, you know, when we go to games, there were there were as many moms as there were dads, mm -hmm. as many moms in their in their varsity jerseys screaming for their kids as there were as there were fathers. So, um, it's a family thing if you've got a kid who's participating in the sport. Now, now the idea if you want your kid to participate in the sport or not, that's something that y'all going to have to decide. Um, we did. And I, I know there's a lot of, and we talked about this other a lot of controversy. Um, contact sports, no matter what it is, running around outside is dangerous. <laughs> cross country. You fall down. Do you know where they run in cross country? They run on fields and... And and terrain. and terrain, and you fall and bust up your knee and hit your head on a rock and be dumb forever. Going outside is dangerous. <laughs> it, it just is, especially in in Florida, North in Southern Florida. I mean, going outside is With dangerous. Heat. You get heat and pass out and get eaten by an alligator. It, life is life is dangerous. But they, you know, what they tell you most accidents happen where in your bathroom. Mm -hmm. So. You, you guys are going to have to measure what you what kind of risk you're good with, um, and then be very and then be and then just be careful and then just be as careful as you can. Pray over your child, pray protection over them and all their players and everything, and just live life. Live life, enjoy. Enjoy it. That's the time, you know. And and I think back, you know, in high school. And, and then college football, all of that was so much fun. And then to relive it with your child is is a fun also. It's gas. It was a gas. You know, we, we, I mean, my kid went to Armwood High School and we still follow the Hawks. The Hawks were our shining moment. They're <laughs> our, all our football grace right now. Oh, They're my God. We're, we're, we're so happy that um, the Hawks win 28 to nothing over Bloomingdale High School. No hate for my Bloomingdale f fans because I'm a Bloomingdale kid too. Well, I'm an adult. I didn't go yeah. there. I'm too old to have been there. Uh, but um, there was some, something for us to really cheer for. So, in any case, we got to get out of here maybe for somebody else. Listen, if you have got any questions about anything we've talked about, even the movie, um, <laughs> just just drop it in the comments below. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Comment. Yes, uh, if to you're watching this through YouTube. YouTube, subscribe. And um, hit the notification bell, and that way you know when we post. We appreciate that. We are gaining subscribers. It's uh, we're we're like the, I feel like we're like a little, little engine that could. We're getting them up there. It's in the seven, 70s now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, we just yeah. There's, there's been no meteoric, whoosh, and we didn't get to do the um, Chick Fil A Popeyes challenge because we couldn't get the damn Popeye sandwich. <laughs> and now they're not doing it. Losers. <laughs> they couldn't hang. Couldn't hang. They could not hang. And and Chick Fil A does it every day but Sunday. But they have people lined up around the building uh, every day. Every day. And they don't run out of sandwiches. And they don't run out of sandwiches. And they've not. That's not been one story where they've run out of the new mac and cheese. Haven't nope. done it. So anyway, go Chick Fil A. Popeye's got one way to go. In any case, we didn't get to do that. Sorry, everybody got to, everybody else got to do that, and got a whole bunch of viewers. We didn't get to do that, so. But I am uh, revealing another segment on here. What? Yes, you know that I talked about it this weekend. This weekend. I um. This past weekend. I joined Saturday? WW for the umpteenth time. <laughs> But I needed something to help me get in control of, of, of this. Uh, and it's not so much a weight issue, but just my eating. And 
I'm going to start a new series on what I eat in a day to lose weight. I'm almost at 10 pounds, so stay um, focused on our channel and get notifications when I po when post because I'm going to start a new series. Looking forward to that. That'll be good. Yeah, fill up a chicken restaurant. They don't have a chicken. What's up with that? That's, that's just bad management. That's just bad planning. That's just bad everything. Sorry. Maybe I'll do a video on my channel called Popeye Sucks. <laughs> Sorry. And, and Chick fil A rocks. <laughs> Y'all can be mad if you want to, but Popeye Sucks. Maybe that will be something I'll do. Maybe not. Anyway, we got a guy here moving for somebody else. And so until we see you again, go out there and learn something. Love somebody. And for goodness sakes, if you are listening on Spotify or if you're listening on um, on Spreaker, um, this, we, we are, we are uh, what do they call it? Broadcasting both the audio um, and the video here. If you're listening on Spreaker, you're listening on Spotify, you're listening on Google Podcast, um, it's out there. It's on the Fightback Media Network. Um, you can hear the, let's see, <laughs> you love Popeyes. We have Popeyes a lot, but yes, you know. We, I love Popeyes. Their chicken is the best to me. I love their chicken. But we've actually gone and, and they go, mm, it's going it's gonna to be 20 minutes on huh? like, oh, really? chicken. All you do is chicken. chicken. How you, how you mess that up? So, no, I'm not waiting to drive you for 20 minutes. Sorry. It's good, but it's not that good. It's not good at no, it's all. It's terrible. Their chicken is good. But service, they got to work on. Yeah, it's like serving a steak dinner on a garbage can lid. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That ain't going to work all the time. Um, but anyway, so if you're listening on, again, just the podcast, on Blog Talk Radio, whatever, um, you can send, us an e send me an email at wls860 at gmail.com. wls860 at gmail.com. So we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sakes, take care of yourself. Now remember this. We love you. We love you. And, and there's, there's nothing, nothing you, you can, can do, do about, about it. it. We will see you when we see you. Bye-bye now. Peace. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the button is. I always have trouble finding a button. <laughs> This is going to be a blooper. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, the...